few months ago I made a video about a data wiping product called the Red Key USB. In that video, I recommended the product and said that it was an excellent product for data erasure as it has countless modes of data deletion starting at one pass zeroing all the way up to the United States Department of Defense standards. I said that it was a great product for anybody that was privacy conscious, worked in IT and would need to wipe computers regularly, or anybody reselling their old computers and gadgets. Today, Redkey have contacted me again to review their brand new, currently unreleased, Redkey USB version 3. Let's kick back with a drink and take a look. Getting hands on with the two red keys and laying them side by side, one thing is apparent almost immediately. The red key just got sexy. This time around they seem to have gone with this brushed metal kind of look which gives the key a much more premium aesthetic and to the touch it feels slightly more sturdy than the previous model as well. You can see here that the red key 3 is slightly shorter than the previous model meaning that it will fit into your pocket or wallet much easier. It still features that lanyard loop though, so wearing it around your neck or on a keychain is still a viable option too. This means that whether you're at work, the office, out and about, you can have the red key on you whenever it matters. I think the switch to this brushed metal casing is a welcome change for durability of the red key too. You can see in these pictures that my old key had started to get some paint chipping off just through general wear and tear. That's just from daily use. It was on the surface as well, so it didn't affect the running of the red key, but it did start to make the bare metal shine through. So this switch to the red brushed aluminium case or whatever kind of metal they've used, I think it's really going to be a step up for durability. The markings on the red key 3 seem to be lasered on as well rather than printed like the previous key. So if I'm correct about that, I haven't checked it with the manufacturers, it should mean that the markings stay on there for a lot longer and not brush off with the paint job just like my old key. The next change to the red key is its packaging it comes in. Each standalone key will now come with this nice retail packaging, each with its own serial number which can be registered within the red keys update tool to ensure that you get lifetime updates. That's right, it doesn't matter what version of the red key you buy, when the software gets updated, you will have access to it. It's not just the physical key that's had a facelift though, so is the software. As soon as you stick the key in and choose it as a boot option, you'll be greeted with this menu that asks you whether you would like to use the graphical user interface or the text-based one if perhaps you're on a slower machine or you just want to get things done quickly. After that, if you're like me and you pick the graphical user interface, you'll be asked to pick a screen resolution that works for you. They've got a multitude of screen resolutions here, so pretty much everybody should be covered. Once your screen resolution is picked, you'll be taken to the next menu, which is language settings. The red key USB comes packed with some of the most popular languages from across the world. You've got English for the United Kingdom, English for the United States, you've got French, uh, Japanese, Swedish. I'm not going to name them all, but you can see on the screen there is a ton. Now once you've got your language settings all picked out, you will be taken straight into the Red Key's nice new menu. You have a nice fade to the screen, uh, Red Key USB, Data Gone Forever, logo and slogan and then it takes you straight into the menu. Now the first thing to know here and the first thing to note here is that there's a timer ticking down from the top. Once that timer ticks down, the, the data wiping tool will begin wiping all detected hard drives immediately. It ticks down from 60 seconds, you can reset the timer or you can just physically stop the timer um, and go about things in your own time. The purpose of the timer is that this can be a tool that you put in, select the language, select uh, your screen resolution and walk away from the computer and it will be wiped. If you're in the kind of environment that is uh, an IT technician in a school, an office, um, or you're at home and you've got a bunch of computers to wipe and not a lot of time to sit there and tinker with things, you insert the key and away you go. Okay, now enough about how the thing looks. The one thing we're all here for is to find out what methods it has and just who this thing is for. So some of the big ones that stand out right away here is the US Army AR380-19 standard, which was used by the US Army up until about April 2019 and should prevent all software-based data recovery methods and most hardware recovery methods as well. Although the US Army stopped using this method in April 2019 and I now use the NIST SP800-88, which is listed Listed on the red key 3 but in the model that I got and I must say as of the 14th of October 2020 I was running the most up-to-date software my version of uh, NIST SP800-88 was grayed out I couldn't use it 
Other notable mentions here are the HMG IS-5 method, which is very similar to the Department of Defense 5220 method. However, HMG is used by the British government as opposed to uh, DOD, which is used by the US government. HMG IS-5 is endorsed by the UK National Cyber Security Center, so it's safe to bet that any data on an SSD, a hard drive, a USB stick, or an external hard drive can be securely erased with this method. It does one pass, writing all zeros to the drive, then another pass, which writes all ones to the drive, then a random combination of ones and zeros on its third pass to ensure that the data is truly sanitized. Of course, other honorable mentions, Peter Gutman's method is here, and I'm trying not to butcher this name, Bruce Schneier's method is here. I'm not going to spend the whole video going over all the different methods though, you can see them on the screen and if any of them stand out to you as things that you want to use or want to Google later, by all means do that. Know that the red key 3 has something for everyone, whether you're just trying to erase family photos or bank details from an old laptop or computer you might be trying to sell, all the way to somebody that has been handling sensitive documents, maybe someone in the media, uh, maybe possibly even a whistleblower like Snowden. Anyone that needs to ensure they don't leave any traces behind on a USB stick or a laptop, short of destroying the drive, burning it, sinking it in water, all that kind of shit. The Red Key 3 is probably one of your best options. It's small, it fits in a wallet, it fits in your pocket, it can go on a lanyard, it's with you at all times, and the data wiping can be started in as little as 60 seconds. So in closing, I have no issues recommending the Red Key USB 3. I thoroughly think it is a vast improvement on its predecessor, the Red Key version 2. The user interface has been upgraded, they have better data deletion algorithms, the Red Key itself is stronger, sturdier, seems more long lasting. If you're in the market for a data erasure tool, I recommend the Red Key 3.